Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our day prep channel. Hope all of you are doing well and enjoying. In the previous video, we have seen the concept of speed and velocity. So now today we will learn the concept of acceleration. Now, what do you mean by acceleration? Acceleration means change in the velocity with respect to time. Rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So, when you say that you are accelerating your cycle, means what exactly you are doing? You are increasing the speed of your cycle with respect to time. Let us understand this example. See, there is a car at point O. The car is at rest, so definitely its velocity is zero here. Then car starts traveling till point A. But from point O to A, when it starts moving from point O to A, the velocity of the car becomes 10 meter per second at point A after 5 seconds. And then again at T equal to 10 seconds, velocity of the car becomes 20 meter per second when the car goes to 200 meter from the risk position. And then at 300 meter after 25 seconds, the car maintains same speed 20 meter per second and later on, the driver of the car applies brakes and car comes to rest at point D. So the speed, final speed becomes 0 meter per second here. Now have you understood one thing? Here the speed of the car is 0, that is it increased to 10 meter per second, again speed is increased to 20 meter per second. Then the speed remain constant from point B to point C and thereafter the speed of the car decreases. So here comes the acceleration concept. When the speed of the car is increasing from point O to point A, we from T equal to 0 to T equal to 5 seconds, the speed of the car is increasing means car is accelerating. Okay, now let us take this example now. See here, this is point O and this is point A. At point over the car is in rest, therefore the velocity is 0 meter per second and at point A it is 10 meter per second. So in how much time? In time. In time in my second. So you know I will write in my second velocity increases by 10 meter per second. Now if in my second velocity increases by 10 meter per second, then in one second, what is the change in the velocity or by how much I want the velocity increases in one second. So for this what we will do, we will divide this full equation by pi o. So this is in one second, the velocity increases by increases by 10 meter per second divided by 5 seconds. So then increase in velocity comes to be 2 meter per second per second. So which is 2 meter per second square. Now you see that the acceleration is 2 meter per second square. Means here the velocity of R increases by 2 meter per second for every second. So this is the acceleration and the acceleration is defined as the definition of acceleration is change in the velocity change in velocity divided by sine taken for change. So this is the formula for the acceleration. So let if V is the final velocity. So this is basically change in velocity means V final minus V initial divided by time t that is the acceleration. This is the formula for the acceleration. Now let us take the case when the car rolls from point A to point B. In the second case, case 2 car moves from point A to point B. So at point A, what is the speed of the car? 10 meter per second. Then T is equal to 20 seconds. And what is the speed of the car at point B? 20 meter per second. And T is equal to 10 seconds. So then again, we'll find out the acceleration. So this is the initial position. 
and this is the final position therefore e is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time t so this is 20 minus 10 divided by 10 minus 5 volt so this again comes to be 10 upon 5 it comes to be 2 meter per second square so again for point A to point B car is moving with acceleration 2 meter per second square so now See, from O to A, car moves with the acceleration A is equal to 2 meter per second square. From A to B, still car moves with the acceleration 2 meter per second square. So, we leave from O to B, car is moving uniformly with acceleration 2 meter per second square. As such, acceleration is known as the uniform acceleration. Now, the meaning of the zero acceleration. Now, what do you mean by zero acceleration? Now, take this. Another case, case 3, car moving from point B to C. Now we just consider the motion of the car from point B to point C. At point B, what is the velocity? 20 meter per second. At point C, what is the velocity? 20 meter per second. Then, after 10 seconds, car reaches to point B, so it will be equal to 10 seconds. Then after 25 seconds, car reaches to point C. Therefore, T is equal to 25 seconds. Therefore, here E is equal to final velocity 20 minus initial velocity 20 upon 25 minus 10 and this comes to be 0 meter per second square. So now see students, here the acceleration has become 0. So this is known as a 0 acceleration. So when you see that the acceleration of the body is 0, when the car is moving with constant velocity, when the car is moving with constant speed, then the acceleration of the car is set to be 0. Now acceleration of the car or acceleration of the body is set to be 0. This doesn't mean that the body is at rest. Body is actually moving. What body is moving with a uniform speed? What is moving with the uniform speed, uniform velocity. So this is the example of zero acceleration. Now let us see what we mean by the negative acceleration. The negative acceleration means retardation. So now you see that another case when the car moves from point C to point D. So when car moves from point C to D, load down their velocity. At C, what is the speed? 20 meter per second and at T, what is the speed? 0 meter per second. Now see, the speed has decreased. The velocity of the car has decreased. So this is the negative acceleration. So when we say that the body is having negative accelerations, when the velocity of the vehicle, when the velocity of the body is decreasing continuously, then we say that this is a negative acceleration. So let's find out this. Now car reaches to point C at 25th second. And car reaches to point D at 30 second. So therefore, acceleration A is equal to 0 minus 20 divided by 30 minus 25. So this comes to be minus 20 upon 5. So this is minus 4 meter per second square. So this is the negative acceleration. This is the retardation. So my name is total, what we have studied acceleration today. What is acceleration? Rate of change of velocity with respect to time. Then what is the NKS unit of acceleration? That is meter per second square. Then CGS unit in centimeter per second square. Then what are the types of acceleration that we have studied? We have studied positive acceleration where the value of acceleration is positive. Means when the velocity of a vehicle is increasing or velocity of the body is increasing, the body is said to be moving with positive acceleration. So what is positive acceleration? When the velocity of a body increases, the acceleration is said to be positive acceleration. What is negative acceleration? When the velocity of a vehicle is decreasing continuously, then we say that is a negative acceleration or a retardation or a deceleration. And then what do you mean by the uniform accelerations? If the acceleration of the body is a constant, acceleration of the body is uniform, then we say that the body is moving with the uniform acceleration. Why? Zero acceleration means 
and the body is moving with constant velocity so these are the types of accelerations i hope all of you understood this concept of acceleration and my dear students to understand the different concepts in physics which are helpful for G and MSCD. I request all of you to subscribe our channel. Thank you.